Hello, welcome back to the R City channel for our FC 24 career mode. Here's what is in store for our Manchester City episode today. Away from home, we go to Nottingham Forest. Then it is a Carabao Cup final against West Ham United. Liverpool away in the cup. A simulation against Wolves at home. And then it's Bayer Leverkusen at home in the Champions League. We're currently to all. Let's just have a look at the standings so you guys can have a little bit of a recap. We currently sit second in the Premier League table. Behind league leaders Arsenal in the Champions League, which is a big one as well today. We currently sit level with Leverkusen, 2-2 in the round of 16, all on that second leg. And see some other big legs and some other big games playing as well. Real Madrid leading by three goals to nil. PSG Arsenal, Barcelona Roma, playing on Marseille. I think you can see, you can sort of predict in all these who's going to go through. Just aside from Nottingham Forest though, they start with Yusuf Makoko up top. It's Alanga and... Balik Wisha on the wide areas. Ugo Chiwaku in the midfield with Mangala. It is Abel Bertones, Embi Soa, Castella Jr., Jordan Bayer, and Kumbedi at the back. Vlachodimos starts and go with Aina, Pablo Bar uh, Pablo, I can't remember his last name, Felipe, I think it is. Merdink, Turner, Williams, Pavidis, and also Mason Green on the bench for Nottingham Forest. 18th place in the Premier League, not doing well at all. Makoko, the key man up top. But they, they have been holding off the losses, looking for draws. They'll be looking for a draw again against City today. We are looking for a win at the City round. A few tight legs means a few changes to Manchester City. Edison will start and go with Mateus News, John Stones, Mark Goyi and Barco at the back four. Captain Kevin Irona and Rico Lewis start alongside each other in the midfield too with Eze in front. Alvarez up top with Savi on the right and Musiela on the left. On the bench, Liam Delap and uh, Doku, Echivere, Grealish, Elaine, Diaz and Zubamendi. A few players miss out today. Ma uh, Joel and Dala, uh, Max Allen, of course, in there. Piron, Makati, Zibayos, I mean, Vardiol and Doyle Yankuto, not quite sharp enough or fit enough to be in the squad today. Lois Lynn Alvarez warming up. He is the Premier League's top goal scorer with 19 goals so far, but City don't lead the league like he leads the top goal scoring charts. Straight away, good start for Forrest, actually. Stones can't cut that one out. Mark Glee's in there, and Edison makes a lovely reaction save. Nearly a brilliant chance for Forrest. And Makoko probably should have scored that. Pressure on him. Couldn't finish the chance off. Kevin Lieberoyne. Look at that run by Savio. It's brilliant. Savio. First time crossing. Alvarez in the volley here off the crossbar. What a strike. Good tackle by Goy. Oh, he gives it straight back to Forrest in the end. Stones dives in with a challenge. Risky. Chance for Forrest just to poke it near post of Edison. Good save from the left hand. Steve Cooper's side. Giving Manchester City big trouble today. Into Eze. Savio. Onside here, Savio. Back to Mateus Nunes, who slices his shot wide here. Big miss by Mateus Nunes there. Big miss. Edison long and away. Into Savio. Good touch by Savio. Given away by Savio. Chance for Anthony. Alanga, big save from Edison. They've had the chances today, the relegation side, Forest. Half-time, nil-nil. What an exciting game at the City ground this is. Title race for one team, relegation battle for the other. I have to say, Forest have played very well today. They've had lots of chances. Edison's made three or four big, big saves. And that's what's keeping City in this one. Eze, what a run by Musiala. Found Musiala. Musiala! 1-0 Manchester City. Eze with his assist. And what a finish. From Yamal Mutiel off that left-hand side. Onto his weaker left foot. What a ball by Eze here. Lofts it beautifully. Mutiel one touch. And the second one is on the volley. And it's into that bottom right-hand corner. Across the ball comes Mutiel with that strike. Very good finish by Jerm. Vlachodimos can't keep it out. City take the lead here. Right to start the second half. It's the fifth one of the scenes for Mutiel off that left-hand side. I hoped his numbers would be better. Ball in. Savio on the chest, easily dealt with by the Brazilian Savio. Savio, lovely pace from Savio. Fires it, route one into Alvarez. Fully am. Through to fullback Mateus Nunes here. And Mateus Nunes from Manchester City does not make a mistake this time. 2 0 at City ground, and what a second half we've put in today. Look at that, fat, what, six minutes into the second half, and City from 0 0 are 2 0 up now. Counter attacking football. Julian Alvarez with the ball through to fullback Mateus Nunes. One thing in his mind but to make a run through. Bends it into the top right hand corner. 2 0 Manchester City. 
De Bruyne. Mateus Nunes, the fullback. Good play by City Eze. Savio on the left foot. 3 0 City. Smash Forest in the end. What a second half. Savio makes it 3. Another assist for Eze, by the way, in that number 10 role, which he's played so well today. Good play from City. Into Eze. Love a little back heel into Savio. And he bends it with the left foot into the top left hand corner. It's a rocking finish. He's rattled the back of the net there. Look at this for a strike. No chance of Lachademos. Right into the back of the net by Savio. Manchester City 3. Forest nil. We're going to make changes here. Tired midfield. So Kevin De Bruyne is going to come off here for Jack Grealish. Rico Lewis for Martin Zubamendi. Musiala for Jeremy Doku. We're going to bring off Eze for Echivede. And John Stones for Ruben Diaz. He will get a kick of football here today. And he's Antia Lange now. Goya cross into Makoko. Makoko through to Greenwood. Clean sheet gone for Manchester City and they pull one back. I'm not even going to see that again. It's frustrating. Zermendi will give it away also in the, the build-up as well. Zermendi. Echivere. Echivere! Oh, Vlachinimos makes the save. Alvarez can't get there ahead of him. Nearly caught him out though there, the Argentinian. Where's the advantage? Alvarez takes their man out trying to win it. No advantage played. Goya tries to stop the cross. He can't do 3-2. Forrest get another one. Two goals conceded today. That comes from a foul the referee doesn't give. Makoko with a goal and it could be a grandstand finish now. Edison can't do much about that. I mean, where's Diaz in the middle? Two goals conceded. But where's the free kick when the foul's made against Echivere? No advantage comes of it and the referee gives nothing. Could be a shot from range. Given away. Alvarez counter City. Alvarez referee blows the half time whistle, a full time whistle to stop us getting that fourth one. Alvarez getting his goal. Full time, Manchester City 3, Nottingham Forest 2. We scrape our way to a victory in the end. So these my match goals to Eze in that midfield. Two assists, played really well. An 8.1 rating, EA Sports man of the match and my man of the match. But I have to say, goalkeeper Edison can't have been far off either. We've only got a 6.5 rating when he seems to make quite a few good saves. Well, Scott Report here for a player we could be looking at next season. Experienced fullback in Javi Gallan of Everton. He's played for Let's Go Madrid. He's played for Celta Vigo. He's played for Wesker as well. 21 appearances, 3 goals and 7 assists so far in all competitions for the Premier League player. He's an exceptional attacking fullback with a match dynamism and skill. Despite playing for a defensive team in Everton, who play very defensively under Sean Dyche. Statistically, he's the best attacking left back in Europe. Creativity and showing creativity from wide areas. Vast experience makes him a very valuable at short term option. I think he's around 32 years of age, but even so, to come in and back up Barco, a bit of experience, someone who can really drive the ball forward, he could be a bit of an exciting option and a bit of a wild card signing come the summer. It's a big one now, Roberto Di Zerbi takes his City side to the Carabao Cup final. Pre-match report shows West Ham United going with the 4-2-3-1. They have won two, lost two and drawn one of their last five games. On the bench is Mohamed Kudus, Victor Chust, Socek, Ariola, Demibai, Maxwell Cornet and Kjelda. It is Lafont in goal with Michele, Captain Mancini, Ordonez and also Meyer in the back four. Leo Dice with Anguissa in the midfield too. De Los Santos on the right, Afif on the left and it's Lucas Paquetar in behind Santiago Jimenez up top. No key defensive attacking players. Paquetar, certainly the danger man. It's a side for the Carol Cup final then. Despite Brits, the cup keeper starts in goal. It's Jan Kuto, John Stone, Joshko Vardy, Alan... Callum Doyle at the back four. Captain De Bruyne, Grealish and Zimmermendi in the midfield three. Doku on the right, Musial on the left and Liam the Lap starts ahead of a tight Alvarez through the middle. Alvarez and Dala, Eze, Echivere, Maximo Pirro, Max Elaine and Ruben Diaz on the bench. Well there is Wembley Stadium ready for the Carabao Cup final action. West Ham United versus Manchester City. Moyes versus De Zerbi. Two big sides go head to head in what could be a real classic of a Carabao Cup final. Jeremy Doku off that right side. Musiala off the left. They've got their quality players as well. Lucas Paquetar to be exact. This is going to be an absolutely exciting final. Jimenez against Vardy. Jimenez takes it down brilliantly. And past Doyle. Lovely pace from Jimenez. And a spin back inside. And a cut back again to Jimenez. And Spike Brits makes a big save. And Grealish gets it away. But a really good chance to West Ham United there. Grealish good counter by City. Martin Zimmermendi pings it in behind to Yama Musiala. Musiala. On the left foot, Musiala. 1-0 City. And it's Yama Musiala again. 
Brilliant finish from the germ off this left hand side. 1 0. Brilliant from Musiala. And City take the lead straight from a West Ham United chance where Santiago Jimenez, brilliant hold up play. Thought he created a chance for his team. Good save by Spike Brits. And it's Zuendi slicing ball in behind David Moyes' side on this left hand side. Musiala scores and Manchester City take the lead. That is Musiala's goal number two in the Carabao Cup. Five in the Prem, two in the Carabao Cup. Like we said, we want these players to get double figures. Anyone who's a forward, we want them double figures for goals and assists or at least 20 contributions. Now to Jan Kuto. De Bruyne makes that run in that great space for Martin Zermendi. This pocket of space for De Bruyne. Bruce Grealish here. Grealish pulls it back to Liam De Lapp, who makes it 2-0 Manchester City. De Lapp in the final. City double all lead here. And a really good performance in terms of what we created, the, the little passes, the intricate areas. The Zerbi side running right in the Carabao Cup final. De Bruyne through to Grealish, a pre-assist. Pulls it back towards De Lapp. We finish it simply. City 2, West Ham 0. Brilliant from Manchester City. Especially in this sort of mood where it's not the ball around and, and test and sees the opposition. Let's see how Back into De Bruyne. Oh, into Liam Delap. What a ball. Liam Delap for three. 3-0 three City. Brilliant in the cup final. We are absolutely spectacular at the moment. 3-0 Manchester City. The pass are moving is unbelievable. 3-0 into De Bruyne. Back heel through to the lap. One touch sets himself onto that right foot. And Giesa can't get a foot in in time. And by that time, by in time, Giesa thinks he's going to get there. Liam Delap's planted it in the top right-hand corner. He's made it 3-0 Manchester City. And this could be some incredibly one-sided cup final, couldn't it? So they ending in there. He had to ping that in behind, behind there, Grealish, with power. That is half-time. 3-0 in the Carabao Cup final at half-time. West Ham United nowhere near City. If we can keep defensively solid, we're winning this competition with ease. That Callum Doyle again. Reads it so easily. Doyle. Into Musiala. Onto Zubamendi. Zubamendi. Back wide to Yama Musiala. He's got hat -trick on a hat-trick here. The lap in the middle. Musiala. The lap. The lap scores from a tight angle. 4-0 in the final. Hat-trick for Liam De Lapp in the Carabao Cup final. 4-0 Manchester City and assist from Musiala. Well, that just seemed too simple. I've passed it to him on top of the goalkeeper. And he's still put it in the back of that there. Still. Through the legs of Ablon Lafont. Brilliant from Liam De Lapp. 4-0 Manchester City. A hat-trick for De Lapp in the Carabao Cup final. Well, Santos. What do he say here? Zumendi with him. You're going to get a shot off. Brits makes the save and West Ham score. What an embarrassing goal. Spike Brits should have that covered, really. <sighs> makes the save, but then he goes straight back to Ladise. He taps it into an empty net. That's poor from Zumendi as well. 4 1. Clean sheet gone again, Manchester City. The second game in a row. Where to go here? Run from left back to right back here. It's past Doku. But not past Musiela. Who feeds Jeremy Doku here? Doku. Doku for City. Pokes it home for five. Massive mistake by the West Ham United fullback. I have no idea what he's doing there. He runs across his own box and tries to keep going. Eventually City win it back. And eventually City punish them. Five on Manchester City. Poked in by Jeremy Doku. Lovely finish by City. 5-1. Off comes Kevin Ebron now for Maximo Pido. Captain will be rested. City absolutely flying high here. Counter West Ham United again running for Zumendi to be doing. He can't make the challenge here. What a lovely ball in behind it's De Los Santos. He's got the pace here. Stones across. He can't make the challenge. And De Los Santos. Big save by Spike Brits. And away by Maximo Pido. Jimenez. Back at that. Tackle by Stones. Jimenez. What a strike. 5-2, what a finish by Santiago Jimenez. I have to say this again, it sneaks into the top corner with power at the near post. Could Spike Brits do better, maybe. Maybe. Oh, terrible ball by Zoom ending to Mandala. Why did I force that forward? I don't know. The thief. Jimenez again. 
Jimenez again. What a strike. 5 3. He's been good, the Mexican. I mean, Spike Brits beating from range too easy. They're 5 3. Three goals conceded, by the way. So defensively, we've got issues. Because we go against our principles and start messing around. Keep the ball, City. It's me as well. It's mainly me. Oh, no, good recovery off the boot of Zermendi, who's then lost it again, Martin Zermendi. But it doesn't matter the full-time whistle goes. Manchester City, our Carabao Cup win is a 5-3 win in the final. Should have been a 5-0 win or a 5-1 win. Two goals shipped poorly, cheaply by Manchester City. We are winners. Liam Delap gets a hat-trick in the final. City are good going forward. City poor defensively. Spike Brits for that captain's arm and I'm not Kevin De Bruyne for whatever reason. I mean, De Bruyne has come off. Maybe that's why and... I wouldn't have given it to Spike Brits though. Seems to be a leader of men. Three poor goals conceded though by the goalkeeper Spike Brits. Still young and still very much learning his game. And I'm playing him in games and giving him opportunities and he's not quite excelling the way he should do at times. But up steps Manchester City here. Echivere. There. Joel and Dala. Jeremy Doku. For the Carabao Cup. Which will be lifted by Spike Brits, not Kevin De Bruyne. Young Spike Brits will be given the chance as he's got the captain's arm man after the Bruyne came off the substitution. Manchester City, work hard, perform well. And in this competition, with Carabao Cup winners. Massive win for Manchester City. And our first bit of official major silverware, you could say, of the season. Almost yellow, two goals and one, two assists and one goal today. Could have been man of the match, but I think you've got to give it to the man with the hat trick. Uh, Liam Delap, 9.4 rating. My man of the match, EA Sports man of the match. Really good performance, really hard working performance. And a hat trick in the final, that's some result. Well, news and rumours circulating about Martin Zubamendi considering a Spain return in the summer. Signed from El Sociedad under Pep Guardiola after his release clause was activated. He's been pretty much quite an important player for Manchester City. And I think he's played quite a bit under Roberto Di Zerbi so far this season. I think he's actually statistically one of our most used players. Not in terms of starts, but he tends to come off the bench to see games out. I think he's been good for us. Yeah, he's not been perfect at times. He's not reached the heights of maybe the new Rodri like we expected he would do. But it would be a shame to lose him. We'd hopefully get a bit of profit, make a bit of profit on him for Roberto Zerbi. Maybe Atletico Madrid, Barcelona, Real Madrid would be interested in Martin Zermendi. But if not, I'd like to keep him around. And I do think he's a really good midfield for the club. We'll have to see what happens in the future. But it is uh, news from Spain that are linking him with a return there. First Liverpool up next in the FA Cup and things look very serious this Liverpool side don't they? They have won three, drawn and lost one of their last five but look at this starting eleven. Alisson Becker in goal, it's Trent and Arnold, Romero, Captain Tadebo and Tamiskas the back four. Tadebo seems to be a Van Dijk replacement, Agate, Soboslai and Gravenberg in the midfield three, Nico Gonzalez on the right. Kiesa on the left and Raspadori in that false nine roll. Griffo, Kelleher, ex-City player, Issa Cabore, uh, Articello Stondo, Mo Salah, Lucas Torreira, and Fabio Cavalli on the bench. Key defensive players, Manny Magante, and the key attacking players are Chiesa on the left and Trent Alexander-Arnold on the right. This is a sign for Liverpool today. Spike Brits starts in goal. is Matthias Nunes, Captain Stones, Vardiel and Doyle the back four. Luis Eze and Zimmermendi in the midfield three with Julian Alvarez through the middle, Jeremy Docker on the right and Jan Musiela on the left. On the bench, Liam Delap, Savio and Dala, Grealish, Maximo Peron, Ruben Diaz and Max Alain. No Barco, no Goy, no Echeverri, no Kevin Niron who's tired, no Jan Kuto. Makati, Zavayos and Baptiste miss out on the squad today. So arriving Manchester City away at Anfield in the FA Cup in the early stage in round five. There is Jan Musiala. Big, big players in both sides. Big test between each other. And it's also two teams that are in the title race. Stones leads out as captain. Spike Brits in goal. It's City versus Liverpool. It's live in the FA Cup from Anfield. Vardy all. Eze. Lovely spin by Eze. Eze in towards Callum Doyle. And from centre-back, Callum Doyle. Great save. Falls to John Stones with the rebound. And Stones hits the side netting. What an early chance that was to Manchester City. We'll see Ella pass it into Eze. Just great timing there. And Eze in behind to Alvarez. And what a run from Julian. They're on him. Alvarez here. Holds off Summer Sly. Alvarez! Another big save by Alisson. We'll see Ella. Rico Lewis, Doku. On the volley, Jeremy Doku and Palm past the post by goalkeeper Alisson. Has to be the, the way to go, really. He's so much better at left back. Played by Liverpool, Chiesa. Lovely running by Chiesa. Chiesa. Mateus Nunes. Lovely defending, great feet. Stones gets it away in City counter, Eze. Alvarez, lovely play. 
as into that space to Jeremy Doku and City have cut Liverpool open here and here's Jeremy Doku and Doku into Alvarez for Manchester City and just before half time we take the lead in the FA Cup Jeremy Doku with the assist our top goal scorer Julian Alvarez for the goal and we take the lead we've had plenty of chances so many chances could not finish them off but here is Doku into Alvarez and a tap in for the Argentinian I mean Callum Doyle is absolutely finished in terms of stamina Hopefully, he can try and get his breath back in the second half. But Alvarez gets a goal in the FA Cup. It is goal number one in the FA Cup. His first appearance in the Cup. And that is half-time. City won Liverpool nil. City lead at Anfield. Just before half-time, we get that crucial goal. He's still pressing with intensity. As do Liverpool. Romero. Gravenberg. Rico Lewis won a win by Rico Alvarez into Yama Musiala. Musiala. Musiala! 2 0 Manchester City. Well, he's in form at the moment, Yama Musiala. He really is in form. And 2 0 lead at Anfield. Now, we've conceded too many goals in today's episode. Too many goals. And I'm looking to try and quiet that down. We need to keep a clean sheet at Anfield. But Yama Musiala, what a finish. Great ball from Julian Alvarez. And there is Yama Musiala in right place at the right time. Lovely finish. Doyle's going to come off. For Maximal Pidon, Callum Doyle is so, so tired. But a lovely finish by Musiala on that weaker left foot. Across the goalkeeper, Allison. For 2 0 at Anfield to Manchester City. Doyle off Maximo Pidon, who can play at fullback, no problem. Gravenberg, lovely feet. All through the middle here. And here's Dominic Sobeslight. And Sobeslai, right across by Brits. 2 1, goal conceded. We've conceded too many goals. I mean, as soon as the 60th minute comes, we seem to concede. Dominic Sobosly here at Anfield. It's not an easy place to go. Spike Brits can't keep a clean sheet. He's played in two of the games. Rico Lewis. Dribbles. Press resistance from Rico. Into Maximo Piro. Zumendi. Brilliant from City. Great football. Eze on. Mateus Nunes to 3 1. What a bit of football from City. Shifting the Liverpool defence up and all over the place. Lovely football. Mateus Nunes makes it 3-0, 3-1 from fullback, should be 3-0. A poor goal conceded. Great play from City. Eze again with an assist, by the way. Could be his 10th or 11th assist of the season, that Eze. Good goal for City. Well played, substitution's on now. Players rest, I think Alvarez probably needs to be rested as well. I mean, Ruben Diaz maybe, maybe wants to come on, but I'm not going to bring Ruben Diaz on. Into Eze. Oh, and it wasn't the pass I played, really. Maximo Perón, lovely challenge. City win it back again. Here's Savio. Brazilian Savio. Savio. Brilliant from Savio. Savio for City off the bar. Oh, brilliant from Savio. So unlucky. Talk for the press, I'm not sure. Lovely ball by Spike Brits. That is full time. A 3-1 win away at Anfield. A big win for City in the FA Cup. And a marker shown in the Premier League title race. Listen, Manchester City and Roberto Deserve mean business, Jurgen Klopp. Well, the sports game on match to John Stones, a 7.9 rate in the back line. I'm going to give it to Rico Lewis, a 7.8 in the midfield. He was absolutely everywhere, Rico. Just an unbelievable footballer. So, so good. Well, left back certainly could be an error. Roberto Di Zerbi looks to try and improve. And a player that we have been brought to by our scouts is Joshua Wilson S. Brand. Left back for Crystal Palace. 20 appearances, no goals, but four assists. He's an energetic attacking left back with flair, excelling in one-on-one -on -one situations and delivering menacing crosses. Buyback clause makes him a strategic option. That's the big thing. We do have a buyback clause, in, you know, including that deal where Crystal Palace saw them sign him a few uh, seasons ago, it feels like now. He needs to work on his positional awareness required for defensive improvement but he's certainly a good player he's been excelling in the Premier League for Crystal Palace and he's certainly on our list of options for next season Joshua Wilson as brand as a fullback to come in and as a homegrown option a Premier League proven player and one that's already been in our academy and knows the way we want to play here at Manchester City up well, next was Wolves at home in a game we did decide to simulate a 2-0 win for Manchester City it's Liam Delap and Joel and Dala on the score sheet two players from the youth system Man of the match going to Joel and Dala with an 8.3 rating, and that's an important three points to Manchester City. And a big game to end the episode. It is Champions League action against Bayer Leverkusen. 2 2 in aggregate. City desperate to go through. This is the Bayer Leverkusen starting 11. In goal starts Unai Simon with Jose Maria, Jimenez, Kunde, and Debas, the back three. Jeremy Fringpong, Florian Verts, captain Lorenzo Pellegrini, and Arvena in the wide area. 
And then it's Baldini and Aure supporting Darwin Nunez up top, Asmoon, Arter, Nathan Teller, Hoffman, Beto, who scored that late one against us, Grimaldo and Bono on the bench. They've lost their last two, though, in the Bundesliga. Verts and Darwin Nunez, the key attacking players. This is Stan 11 we're going to go with here from Revere to Xavier Edison starts and go with Jan Kuto, John Stone, Josh Covardiel and Barco at the back four. Captain De Bruyne, Rico Lewis and Claudio Echeverri start in the midfield. Three with Pulin Alvarez up top, Jeremy Docu on the right and Yellow Luciela on the left. It's in Dallas, Savio, Grealish, Zubimendi, Nunez, Doyle and Goyi on the bench. Well, big game in our Champions League campaign here. Only in the early knockout stages, but Bayer Leverkusen have already shown their quality. A 2-2 draw at their ground. I mean, 24-year-old and only 24-year-old Yao Musiala. Eyes are on him. He's been in great form. And he's expected to perhaps be the player to make the difference. Manchester City versus Bayer Leverkusen. It's live from the Etihad Stadium. We can have some sympathy on Roberto Di Zerbi. At this stage of the competition, it's not allowed. Kevin De Bruyne. Lovely drive from De Bruyne. Into Echeverri. Oh, referee! Florian Verts with a disgusting challenge on Claudio Echeverri. I think that's a red card for Verts. It's not even a yellow card. What a joke of a decision. Not even a yellow card there for Florian Verts for that one. Alvarez, lovely ball. In goes Jan Kuto. Doku! Tried to play into the middle and deflected away. Counter through Darwin Nunez. Why'd they go to Frimpong? Frimpong, lovely pace. Stone's beaten to it. Chance and a good block by Josh Cavardio. Darwin Nunez blocked away behind for a corner. They're a very good side, Leverkusen. Free header off the line by Jan Kuto. On by Doku. Handball referee. Advantage played. Edison. Rico Lewis against Darwin Nunez. Echeverri picks it up. Just a ping on in behind here. Frimpong reads that easy. Alvarez with a poor challenge. Well, according to this referee, is no yellow card for Lin Alvarez. Florian Verts didn't even get a single yellow card for his challenge. Well, there's the consistency of the referee in here. Verts didn't get a single card. Not even he, not, he should have been ready to even get a yellow. A lovely step out by John Stones. Echeverri into Rico Luis. Echeverri once more. Cardio Echeverri. Echeverri blocked away. Behind for a corner. Takes a deflection there. Kevin De Bruyne all this one. Big options in there. John Stone's one of them away by Leverkusen. Flicked on and wide. And a nice flick out towards Darwin Nunez. Towards Frimpong. It's a good take. And here's Jeremy Frimpong. Who's got bags of pace. And he's passed. Barco. And Jeremy Frimpong here. Takes it too far. Does he Frimpong? Clips one in. He's taking it out of play. And the referee blows the half-time whistle. Nil-nil at the Etihad. So close in the Champions League. Leverkusen have been so impressive. There's options inside and outside. Vardy all wide towards Barco. Barco. Echeverri turns. Echeverri shoots. Big save by the keeper. Unai Simon. <sighs> Tense one. De Bruyne in. It's John Stones. And John Stones gets right underneath it. Right underneath it did Stones there. Darwin chasing Vardy all. John Stones. And towards Barco. He's found a bit of pocket of space here. Barco. Valentin Barco. He's into Echeverri. It's another great save by Simon. If Echeverri could finish. If only Echeverri could finish. Stone's in there. And over the bar by Stone's again. I think it takes a nick. It's a corner. De Bruyne. Echeverri. Oh, what a save by Simon. Wonderful chance for City. Musiala. De Bruyne. Stones. Alvarez strikes it. Blocked away by Leverkusen. Rico Lewis back into De Bruyne. Stones. Jan Kuto. Lovely skill by the fullback Jan Kuto. First in run by Jan Kuto. Crossing by Kuto to Barco. Oh, and his flick is absolutely embarrassing. And there's a counter on it. Baldini. Three on two. Beto. For Everton, man. Beto. Oh, he's made a mistake there. And Stone's read it really well. But he's tired. Yaman Luciela, very tired. Rico Lewis. Straight away. Grealish has made a nice run. De Bruyne. In behind to Doku. What a ball, is it? The Bast. Doku fights for it. Doku keeps it. On to Joel and Dahler off the bench. 20-year-old Joel and Dahler off the bench. 
with a massive goal in the Champions League at this late stage. Ball by De Bruyne and Jeremy Doku does not give up. And he nicks it not once but twice into the path of Joel and Darlet. And a young man off the bench. Louis offers him Mendy now. A young man off the bench. Scores an absolutely crucial goal in the Champions League, young Joel and Darlet. What a goal for Ndalek. Three goals this season in the Champions League. Here comes Zimmermendi for Rico Lewis. Manchester City 1, Bayer Leverkusen 0. Massive, massive goal from Joel Ndalek. Out to Ndalek. Ndalek under pressure makes it stick. Brilliant from Joel Ndalek. Then off he goes. Ndalek into Beto. Still pings it wide here. Doku got options in there. It's De Bruyne on the volley and away by Leverkusen. Doku keeps fighting for it. Grealish across here. Balzdini. Leverkusen, no. It's now or never. Approaching the 90th minute. Full-time whistle goes. We end the episode with Manchester City going to the quarterfinal of the Champions League. Roberto De Zerbi side leave it late. And it's young Joel and Dalla, the hero, the superstar, with a late goal right at the end of the game. An assist from Jeremy Doku. And Manchester City are going to that Champions League quarterfinals. And there is the hero, Joel and Dahler off the bench. A young man through the City youth system who's become an absolute hero. The man of match is to Josh Govardio with a 7.6 rating, but I've got to give it to the man off the bench. Joel and Dahler with a 7.6 rating. The winning goal, the only goal of the game. Doku didn't have a great game, but he got the assist. City are through to the quarterfinals. That ends today's episode. Thank you very much for watching. Please like the video if you haven't already. Please do subscribe to the channel if you are new. And if you want to see all this action early and extended, join the City We Are City Members Club. Couldn't even get that out then. We'll see you guys next time.